Hello there, my name is Matt Geniusak, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use my Minecraft Data and Resource Pack to Mod Converter to convert a data pack into a mod. Now this is useful because ultimately, data packs need to be loaded on a per world basis. There's no way by default in Minecraft to load a data pack into every world at once. This converter will turn a data pack or multiple data packs into a mod. So instead of you having to load a data pack for each world, you can just put it in a mods folder with a uh, mod loader such as Forge or Fabric. This converter will support both. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to the releases page on GitHub. This is the GitHub page where my converter is hosted. You can see the link at the top there. If you wanna come to this releases page and click on this version 1.0.1, down here, you'll see the converter exe file. You go ahead and download that. I'm going to download it to my desktop so I can actually use it. And just wait for it to download here. There we go. And now you'll want to launch it. It doesn't matter where you launch it, but put it in a place where you can find it. Here we go. Now, as soon as you pop this thing up, you're gonna be greeted with a lot of different fields and things to put together. I'm just going to show you the simplest way to convert a data pack, which I have right here, into a mod. Now, this data pack is actually incorrectly formatted. As you can see, there's actually not a data pack inside here. The data pack is inside this folder here. But that won't matter for our individual case, as this converter can handle it anyway. The first thing that we'll want to do is that we'll want to put the name of the uh, well, the name of the mod that we want to convert this data pack into. This will show up in the uh, mod list as the name of the mod. Let's just type blaze and caves. Let's see, blaze and caves advancement. Then you want to make a mod ID. Make sure that this mod ID is in all lowercase letters. So let's just say EAC advancements. That should work fine. Then you want to specify a version number. I'm just going to say 1.0.0. This is the easiest way to do. If you don't know what version number to put in there, just put 1.0.0. Next, you'll want a description. You can leave this blank if you don't want to put anything there. Authors, it doesn't matter on this case either, but I'm going to put Blaze and Cave since he was the author of this pack. License. License does not matter, so I'm going to put no license. And finally, what we'll want to do is we'll want to add the pack that we want to convert. So we're going to click add zip at the bottom here to find our pack in the desktop. You'll see that it'll show up in the packs list up here. We can click on this and we can add, replace, or change the name of it if we want. But for now, this is all we'll do. Now, the thing is, we'll have one other thing that we need to do at the bottom here. We have an MC Meta version, which six is the most up-to-date version. This only matters if you're using Forge, but six is the version that you want to use if you are working in 1.16. So by default, you can leave this blank. Then you wanna specify a version of, uh, or a mod loader that you're going to be using this mod in. If you specify both, the mod will work in both Forge and Fabric. You could put it in either mod loader and the mod would be would work just the same. For this mod, I'm just going to leave it as both. But you can pick fabric if you wanted to make it work only in fabric, or forge if you wanted to make it work only in forge. Finally, once you're done all of that, click the convert button. It'll take some time and you just have to be patient. It'll create the uh, temporary folder down at the bottom here. And then we can wait some time and eventually the converter will spit out a jar file on your desktop, which is the mod. So we'll just give this a few seconds here. There we go. So now when we're done that, you can see we have a valid mod right here. You see that it automatically generates with uh, a title, so you don't have to worry about that. Just to make sure this is a valid mod, you can open it up with something like 7-zip, and you can see that all the files that we need are inside, and our data for the resource pack is inside as well. And that's pretty much it. If you want to actually reset this so you can convert a different mod into a mod pack, make sure that you remove the pack from here. Otherwise, you're going to end up adding more than one pack. 
you don't, it's generally a bad idea to convert more than one data pack into a single mod as they can cause conflicts with each other. So try to keep it for one mod only. Once you're done with converting, in order to remove these things, just click, click on any of them and click the remove button in the bottom right. This will remove them so you're able to start fresh. Then you can change the name and packs. You can change the metadata up here to anything else that you want. Add another zip for another data pack that you want to convert. And then you can click the convert button again. And you can repeat the process for as many things as you want. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.